Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angie and this week I'd like to show you what I made for my garden. Before I get any eye rolls, let me say that I don't have a craft booth or an Etsy shop, so everything you see on this channel is things that I make to use in my own house and my own garden. So you may have seen some of these before, um, but I'm hoping you'll stick around and watch to see how I made them for uh, my use. Here are some of the items I used, so let's get started. Take a piece of wire about 10, 12 inches long. Fold it over. Pinch the end. And just wrap it. Take the end, just form a little curly cue. And then I'm gonna put it on one of the ribs here. And you just gotta need to make sure you pull the wire tight. Then when I get to the end, I just take my pliers and just and just continue doing that all the way down. I found that the quickest thing to do was to make a bunch of these little curly cues all at one time and then attach them to the ribs. After I did all the ribs on the sides, I went ahead and made curly cues to go along the bottom. When that was all done, I took my E6000 glue and just did a line of glue down all of the metal bars and then just used my finger to kind of set the wire. It keeps it from spinning around. To make the handle, I used two bunches consisting of three wires each and twisted them together to form a loop and then I attached that to the center ring. I then removed the base from a Dollar Tree solar light and glued a plastic teardrop shaped ornament into the bottom.
I then spray painted it with a couple coats of black spray paint. When that was dry, I used black wire and more of the teardrop ornaments along with a square bead and attached it at the bottom of each wire rib. I attached it the same way by wrapping the wire tightly and using my needle nose pliers to pinch the ends. To finish it, I simply placed the solar light in it and hung it in my garden. I'm calling it Whimsical Bling. For my next project, I'm taking a piece of scrap wood and a teapot to make a birdhouse. I'm giving the wood a fresh coat of paint and then I'm going to use the IOD Barnwood Plank Stamp to give it a wood grain look. I know, I'm giving the wood a wood grain look when it had that to begin with, but since this piece of scrap wood was already mostly painted, it was easier just to use the stamp than to sand off the paint. I'm also using the IOD Birds and Branches stamp to decorate the wood. I use the DIY brand Dark and Decrepit to paint the small wood round. Then I stamped a small design and the word welcome on it. For the roof, I used this piece of fluted metal. I used my hammer to flatten the sides and then cut it into two separate pieces. I then folded one of the pieces in half and cut the second piece into two smaller pieces. Thank you. 
I had previously drilled a hole in the bottom of this teapot, so to attach it to the piece of wood, I used E6000 glue and a small screw. To attach the roof, I also used E6000 glue and small screws. I painted the roof black and made a wooden hang tag that says for rent. Now will the birds actually go in here? I don't know, but if they don't, I still like it as just garden art. To finish the roof, I used a combination of hot glue and E6000 to glue a piece of black leather along the back edge to hide the screws. Then I glued my welcome sign on and attached my hang tag with a piece of wire. For my next project, I'm going to use a lamp base, a bunt pan, and a solar light to make a planner for my succulents. I removed the lamp assembly and then just glued my pan to the base. This pan and this lamp base fit together perfectly. I also drilled holes in the bottom of this pan. I let the glue dry and then I gave it a couple of coats of this green paint. To finish this, I removed the base from the solar light and used E6000 glue and glued the light to the center of the pan. For my last project, I'm going to use four tin cans and another piece of scrap wood and make a container for my garden tools. I started by painting my cans white and then letting them dry. I also painted my scrap wood with a couple coats of white paint. I then drilled a small hole at the top of each can. On the front of each can, I put a transfer from the IOD seed catalog transfer set. If you didn't have this set, you could also decoupage a seed packet on it. To attach the cans to the wood, I used a combination of E6000, hot glue, and a small screw. I also used some alphabet stamps to stamp the word garden on it. To finish this project, I added a leftover cabinet handle that I had, but you could also use rope or a piece of leather.
I used a spray sealer over the transfers to help protect it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.